guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl Drea and this is the Owl's Intuition if you're new here hit that subscribe -y and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff and if it resonates you know give me a little thumbs up baby and comment to let me know how or why these confirmations they are amazing okay so <laughs> um I just wanted to see because you know the energies you know, <laughs> and I'm sure that you're curious because you popped on here. But first, before I even talk about the the topic, I want to say thank you to all of you for even being here, for liking, sharing, subscribing, for the donations, for booking a reading with me. If you would like to book a reading, my email is in the description box, but I will never message you for a reading. So please beware of scammers, okay? So we're talking about what has people talking about you right now? Why are you such a hot topic? What, one, 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 what's going on? What are you doing? That's making everybody so flustered. <laughs> so we have four piles today. We have pile number one, which is the Tredivia deck. We have pile number two, which is the Mystic Monday tarot deck. We have pile number three, which is the Dream Keepers tarot. And pile number four, which is the Uncommon tarot. As always, you can pick more than one pile. If you feel called to use your discernment, thousands of people are watching. So not every message may be for you guys. And don't let these messages take from you. It's always for entertainment purposes. But I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the pow that you picked. No. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Hey, what's going on, pal number one? It's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, hit that little subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff, okay? And if it resonates, give me a little thumbs up, baby. Let me know how or why in the comments. I appreciate all the love and the support, and thank you for just being here, okay? So, as always, use your discernment, okay? We're gonna get your current energy. Keep in mind, thousands of people are watching, so not every message may be for you. If it's not for you, just let it slide away, baby. And you know what? You ain't gotta freak out. It's all right. <laughs> and if this doesn't resonate, you can watch another pile, watch another reading, watch another reader. Just do whatever makes you happy. That's the main thing. Are you happy? If this doesn't make you happy, do something else. <laughs> simple. It's very simple. Now, let me stop. But yeah, let's see. And then we'll get into all the tea, baby. All right. And if you would like to book reading, my email is in the description box, but I will never message you for reading. What is pile number one's current energy? Please. Please. You guys are private people. Very private. Very secretive. Very mysterious. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there we go. There we go. And sexy. Oh, yeah. You're all for yourself right now. All for yourself. And it's not in a selfish way. You're just focused on yourself because you are <clears throat> falling in love with you, who you are. You're trying to appreciate every bit of you. And I feel like, you know, just got to cover the titties. <laughs> I feel like you are learning how to accept and love yourself, okay? You are tapping into the fact that... <sighs> The way that you viewed yourself has been skewed because of the past, because of other people's projections. And now it's like you're taking a hard look in the mirror and you're really learning how to accept yourself and you're really learning to get to know yourself. You are understanding that everything is connected, you are divine and you are pure and you have things that you have to release and you have been doing that and you know... Healing never stops, but you have done so much to the point where it's like you are becoming way more content and so much more peaceful. I do feel like there is some falsity around you or people have been trying to lie or, you know, maybe even spread rumors about you just to try and mess with you, just to try and make you feel less than because people see that you're starting to find people who uplift you and a lot of people are supporting you and accepting you for who you are and not judging you no hateration no secret jealousy or animosity no shit talking it's like you're finding your people right people who are willing to grow things with you people who want to put in the work and have put in the work just like you you're finding people who actually are for you and you have some people kind of going wild and this is triggering them, okay? Maybe you left certain people, well, I don't know, but th this has people flustered and messed up right now. So, continue doing what you're doing because that's irrelevant, you know what I'm saying? These people are e invisible. They have no power over you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, okay? So, pretty much, I do feel like you are drawing in 
a lot of people with your allure. You're drawing in a lot of manifestations and your energy is about to start raising, okay? Especially if you're walk watching this uh, around when I'm dropping this, the spring equinox is coming in, which is the astrological new year. It's the official new year for me, to be real honest, okay? And um, a lot of good is going to be coming and flowing into your life. So stay tuned for that. Continue to do your, your, your self-love, self-care. Continue to prioritize yourself and continue to eat and drink water and, and do the things that you know are for your highest and best good. And do the things that you know you don't want to do, but you know that your future self will thank you for. Because that is very necessary right now because that is going to shift your life for the better, okay? And body positivity is coming through. Embrace yourself, okay? Accept the things that you can't change and if you can change things, then do what you can to do that. You know what I'm saying? No more excuses, baby. We got this. We out here, okay? We do what we can because we love ourselves and we know what we deserve. So if that resonates at all, let's get into your reading. Okay, pile number one. What has people talking about you right now? So we have refreshing oasis. That's funny because that matches up with your current energy. Nurture yourself. Gather your strength. We have wizard. Balance. And then we have the worm moon, faith, okay? You're building a foundation with yourself and you're putting, you're ending shit, okay? We got nine energy and every time I see this card, it makes me think of cord cuttings, you know what I'm saying? You're cutting people off, you're burning bridges or people are burning bridges with you because you're prioritizing yourself instead of being guilt tripped into serving others when you know you don't have the energy. You're prioritizing your needs okay if you need the rest you're resting people could be talking about the fact that you're resting or nurturing yourself or taking time to yourself and i'm not really sure why people are talking about this like what is this re refreshing oasis like what's the problem with you taking care of yourself because it's a it's a shocking change okay because you're moving in silence now because you're no longer really talking to people people just don't understand why you're doing this you know this has been a long time coming because a lot of you guys used to put a lot of people before yourself but now you ended it so quickly that it just kind of is freaking people out and now you're in this huge energy because look this is like a huge horseman and then we have these little people like begging you know what i'm saying trying to give an offering or something like that and then we have somebody dead over there <laughs> You got people dead shook, bro, because you're taking time to care for yourself. You're putting time into yourself, and I think this is causing a glow up, okay? Yeah, magician energy just came out of nowhere, and this is you, like, putting not only time into, like, nurturing yourself, healing yourself, sleeping more, eating better, not really bending at other people's whims, setting boundaries, Okay, what's this wizard in balance? And that really does have people talking about you right now because, I don't know, I heard selfish in my head. People think you're selfish because you are literally putting yourself first right now, but you can't pour from an empty cup. And, you know, I feel like it is a lot of hateration. The people who are meant for you will understand your boundaries, okay? Look at the king of swords and then the six of pentacles with this wizard energy. You have been seeing certain situations, right? And this is why you're burning bridges because you're balancing your mental your physical and emotional this is double balance because balance and then the six of pentacles with balance eight of coins on the reverse okay you are building something and because you were putting others first you didn't have time to build this shit okay you didn't have time because you didn't have energy because you wasn't taking care of yourself because you were worried about everybody else and taking care of everybody else and prioritizing the wrong things and now that you're finally balancing yourself you're going to manifest some type of money and because it's just like this lady's holding these hands are holding this pentacle just like oh like you're getting some type of money coming re removing yourself from the five of pentacles and that's what has people talking because you're prioritizing your work before you wasn't working on this but now it's like you're in a new journey with this fool energy it's like you're doing the work that you were not doing because you were spending time with people who you know were blocking your wishes fulfilled spending time with people who had this bounded energy towards you were energy vampires you were surrounded by a lot of people who were draining your energy energy and you know that's why you didn't have the motivation or the energy to work on the things and you kept putting it off putting it off and putting it off and now it's like once you cut these people off your life started to propel and that's what has people talking because they're like yo how one cut these people off they took care of themselves they had faith in their dreams and now they're building something you're also getting some type of worldwide recognition because we do some of y'all um people are talking about you because you're pregnant or you got somebody pregnant okay or maybe because of your parenting um i'm not sure let's clarify this in regards to that aspect and then we'll clarify the other thing 
Three of Swords. <laughs> Some people, okay, Page of Swords. Some people are so upset because they thought you were going to be single. They and then they find out that you're in a relationship and you have kids and stuff like that. They're like, oh, that was supposed to be my seat. I'm sorry. <laughs> like you have people hurt and heart. Whoa, what was that? You have people heartbroken because of the fact that now you moved on and you built a family for yourself they can't come in okay you it, and also besides that that besides, that's just the pregnancy part but besides that um you're building something and it's getting you recognition worldwide some of you guys you may have a social media following and stuff like that and you're becoming very successful because of that with the chariot let's clarify that energy the social media aspect the foundation you could have an online business something that you're building the devil in the reverse yeah the toxicity is no longer touching you you left a lot of people from your past six of cups in the reverse in the sun and now you have a new journey of happiness with the fool again like you're on a new journey a new path and you left a lot of people behind and a lot of toxic people and you had faith and you put that work into yourself and now because of this baby you the endings are bringing in new beginnings and people are starting to see your new beginnings and people are understanding exactly why you moved away because you you didn't want to be around people who wore masks you didn't want to be around people who didn't accept your authenticity or you un your uniqueness you didn't want to be around people that you didn't feel comfortable talking to so you left all that shit and now you're going to find your people you're going to find the people who pour into you just the way that you pour into them and you have faith that you will build the life of your dreams and people are starting to see that i feel like you guys talked about this and now people are starting to see your manifestations come in and that's what has people talk and they're like yo Power One is actually doing the damn thing. Power One is actually doing what they said they was gonna do. Power One is actually standing on business. Ooh, what? Yes, Power One. Pat yourself on the back, baby. I'm proud of you because you did a lot of work. This took a lot of fucking work. Do not discredit yourself. Yes, it's only the beginning, but I'm telling you, you have no idea how good this is about to get for you. Let's get into your tarot. Okay, pile number one, we have the strength card. We have the ten of freaking pentacles. Again, there is a child. She's holding a baby. And we have the empress. So some of you guys, they're talking about the fact that you have a family. A lot of people didn't expect you to have children or have a family. Or maybe it's because of the amount of I heard money that you have, but also because of the amount of kids that you have. Maybe some of you guys have a lot. People are like, this is outrageous. How many kids are they going to have? Like, no, that's only for some of you. That's like probably for one of you, to be honest. I digress. We also have the Magician, the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. And also we have the Ten of Swords, the Empress, and the Page of Wands. A lot of you guys have been through so many backstabbing, so much betrayal, and you never gave up on yourself. And I feel like you're getting so much good karma. You are, people are talking about you because of your patience towards building this abundance. People know that you're destined for greatness. People are talking about you because of the fact that they know you're going to get this Ten of Pentacles. They see you in this Magician King of Pentacles energy, prioritizing the bag right now, being patient though taking small strategic steps and moving away from people who are selfish moving away from people who have been a snake this whole time really stepping into your power okay not even some of you guys you're prioritizing being single okay some of you guys people are talking about the fact that you're single and that you are not like looking for love right now and you're in your empress energy they're like i don't know why this person's choosing to be single they look so good da -da -da -da. they could get anybody they want da -da -da -da. with this empress energy people are talking about your looks too people are talking about how there's a they have some type of passion because with this page of wands it's like you entice some type of excitement in people but also just your beauty excites people and people are also talking about the fact that you've been through a lot of shit and after you close out those painful cycles, it's like you you started to transform. The healing has been... I don't think they know this like on a, that level. Some of them do, but I feel like people are understanding that you letting go of whatever it is that you let go and prioritizing your self-love, self-care is causing this glow up. Because I did talk about a glow up earlier for you guys. And it's like you are glowing up because the pain is leaving. You're healing physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. And that's what people are talking about. Whether they're talking about it in that fashion or not. Okay, people are talking about how you're making money moves and how um, you're stepping into this like business boss energy and you're loyal to yourself. And you're finding some lone wolves, okay? You're loyal to yourself and you're finding some... Uh, these could either be dogs or wolves. We have two little dogs on the side of this guy. It's like you got your, your squad, you know, birds of feather flock together. And people are also talking about how people are talking about... <laughs> 
the fact that they want to make a move on you, okay? Because there's this rose in this bird's hand and it's going towards this king of pentacles, but it's like you're kind of just focused on the bag, focused on manifesting. You're really focused on yourself and, and creating your life and your family, okay? That's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? You are not, you, you took a step back from a lot of people and you've closed out a lot of cycles because you're just sick of it. You were sick of it and now you're nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, prioritizing your looks. You could have been changing your style up, changing your hair, doing different makeup. There's big emphasis on your appearance is changing. Whether your face is getting thinner or it's getting more puffy, your cheeks are getting more puffy. I heard some of you, some of you guys are like you draining your lymph nodes or draining your body. You changed your diet and that's like, reflecting in your health okay your face your eye bags may be leaving or your skin is clearing up some of you guys are losing weight or you're gaining weight in the right places you could be adding muscle into your body <laughs> into your body onto your body but you know what i'm saying you prioritizing your peace has really shifted everything in your life and you've got stabbed in the heart and you are finally healing that. I do feel like you let go of a lot of grudges and people are talking about that because people who you let go of, it's like you never talked shit about them and that's what people are talking about. They're like, yo, how long cut off mad people, left whole groups of people and they never talked shit about them once and this and that and then you, they're also talking about how these people continue to try to talk shit about you but you continue to prove them wrong because like your life is literally speaking volume okay you got people just trying to like throw the throw shade towards you still and people are talking about you got people talking because you're living your best life and you still you have haters mad this, this five of swords energy because you're still making progress no match no matter how much shit they try to sho uh, shove in your face or throw at you okay and like I don't mean like in a spiritual sense, but some of them, yes, but it's like just talking about you in a negative way. It's like, it's making you more money. It's giving you more energy and you're transmuting that energy. You guys are literally just turning lemons into lemonade. And it's just like, people want to drink your lemonade now because it's just, you're oozing this beautiful, beautiful, abundant energy. You're so powerful now and people want to know how you're doing it. People want to know how you're so compassionate to the people who stabbed you in the back and how you have made it out of the slums or how you are on the way to making out of the slums and how are you so intuitive there's this intuitive energy like how did you know how did you know who was doing what how did you know about what was going on behind the scenes you know what i'm saying because people are can they're like confused because they didn't say nothing to you let's say you cut off somebody and then people who knew this person and knew these people were talking about you they're like yo how did they know to cut this person off because we never said nothing and then they got cut off too <laughs> <laughs> all right pal number one that's what we're gonna call it i love you guys i hope you have an amazing day night or whatever beautiful energy and i'll see you on the next one bye oh what's going on pal two it's your girl drea and this is the owl's intuition pal number one was dope as hell can't wait to see what comes out for you guys okay if you are new here hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified when i post some new stuff and if it resonates you know give me a little thumbs up baby let me know how or why in the comments okay as always thousands of people are watching so not every message may be for you do not let these messages take from you please okay if it doesn't fit, then let it go because it ain't it. And we're going to get your current energy anyway to see if this is your pile. If this doesn't resonate, you can watch another pile, watch another reading, watch another reader. Just do whatever makes you happy, okay? I ain't forcing you to do anything. <laughs> but thank you for being here and catching a vibe. I appreciate all the love and the support from all of you, okay? If you would like to book a reading, my email is in the description box, but I will never message you for a reading. So let's get into it. What is pile number two's current energy? Uh, I was just hearing this song from Impala. I forgot their name, but it's like, dan, 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 dan. damn, what's the name of that song? It's something about like leaving, okay? Like somebody left him, okay? And we have boundaries and the lovers, so maybe like sacred waters, goddess, okay. <laughs> Okay, let's let's talk about this. This is this is intense. <laughs> All right. Wow. 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 So, it seems as though you guys are either in a relationship, you set boundaries 
towards a relationship. Let me actually cover her butt cheeks just in case, because you never know. <laughs> um, wow. So, yeah, there's emphasis on your body, too. People are noticing your boundaries. People are noticing that a lot of people love you, okay? Not only in a sexual or, like, a romantic aspect, but just they love your essence, your energy. They can feel that you have this beautiful, warm, cleansing and beautiful energy and you're releasing a lot of cords so i feel like you were the type of person who your energy you know you could have been an empath of a sponge you could have you are an empath <laughs> and uh you're learning how to protect your energy to no longer absorb other people's energies okay you may again similar energy to pile one you may have been surrounded by energy vampires and people who are draining your energy and you notice that you know you're no longer allowing people to be draining you and you may have cut off people or set on um, boundaries because you're like you know you're also learning who you can actually be your true authentic self with and who does not deserve your energy and you know when you catch a whiff of something off you are immediately shifting your energy and you are <laughs> it's like you're gatekeeping yourself you know what I'm saying you're no longer giving access People cannot access your water. It's sacred. People cannot access your, your love, your goddess energy, unless they are going to reciprocate. If they are not, if they are draining you, and this doesn't mean like they have to give you money, you know, it's, it's, it's energetically, okay? It's love. It's appreciation. It's the little things too. It doesn't matter. It's like you're generous as hell and you give a lot of time and energy to people and you are starting to see who and what is not for you. And, you know, you're starting to connect with yourself. You're starting to go with the flow again. And I feel like you, your boundaries are boosting your confidence, boosting your energy, and boosting your creativity, you're about to start becoming a manifesting machine because you're going to have enough energy to put into your creative ventures. And also, a lot of you guys could be sacred energy exchange. I do feel like um, you're realizing who is meant for you. Your body rejects the people that you're not meant for in like a relationship or in a sexual way. Like You may break out or start to like really, really... Yeah, like maybe get you ties and shit like that, you know? And um, I think that some of you guys, if you were in a relationship, you may have left that person and um, your body has started to heal and change and transform and you're, you're no longer experiencing those things. And now it's like you're going to be able to understand when you give your body to certain people because your body is very sacred and your energy is very sacred. And a lot of people want to have SEX with you because of the power that they could get and also because you look really good and it would be an amazing time, honestly. <laughs> But, um, with the waters, you know what I'm saying? Splash, splash, drip, drip. Okay, but <laughs> I digress. Some of you guys may have found your person that actually, like, you, um, y'all make love and it's, like, on some, a whole nother level, okay? But I digress, you know, some of you guys could be single, so it's, like, you understand that, like, you would rather hold in your energy and rather not give it to people anymore. You're you're not down with the whole phase. You're good with being by yourself and having boundaries and you know, you you understand how sacred you are and you know that your person will come and you're no longer like cuz you're a romantic, you know, you're a very romantic person and you you love love, but you are focusing on loving yourself because you know that <sighs> that'll help someone to love you and it will also protect you because if you love yourself when you're getting disrespected or when you're in a toxic relationship you will not stick around okay so if that resonates at all let's get into your reading all right we have violet flame invoke the cosmic diamond violet flame transmute all that is not love then we have unconditional love blueprint and then sovereignty people are talking about you because they're scared of your intuition they're scared of your powers <laughs> y'all are my psychics <laughs> We have an owl right here. You are my psychics. You guys are the people who actually are very intuitive, communicate very well, but also you have this fierceness to yourself, okay? You're not to be played with. And I do feel like people get instant karma, and you do too, but people get instant karma. And changes happen in their life really quickly when you allow them in your energy and just as quick when you take your energy away. And people are talking about that. People are talking about, like... Okay, a lot of people are talking about how they want to message you. We have all these scrolls on top of this heart. 
you're blossoming, you're blooming, you're really stepping into your uh, king, queen, um, emperor, empress energy, okay, boss, independence, you don't have to be independent though, you could be in a relationship, but you still have people talking about how they are like, are madly in love with you, you have people who are in love with you, so don't, be surprised if you start getting text messages and stuff like that, or DMs from people who either have been in your past, giving like exes are talking about you and stuff, like past lovers and people who, who want you again, whether you're single or not, you're still going to get these messages. So people are talking about messaging you because you are literally, you were the best that they had. You were the person who like literally showed them what love is. Unconditional love. You're the blueprint. You were the blueprint and they were not ready for you or they didn't deserve you. It was divine protection. Regardless, at the end of the day, there's big emphasis on your protection your psychic abilities, you stepping into your power, your confidence, boosting up, you becoming more grounded, more abundant, more stable, more fierce, standing up for yourself a lot more. And that's what has people talking. They're like, yo, I said something to Pal too, and they, they clap back. And I was like, oh my God, I never heard them talk like this before. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of people used to try and bully you or throw shade and, you know, give little backhanded compliments or like slick comments and stuff. And you're calling people out or you're just saying shit. Like you're like, uh, excuse me, ew, no, that's gross. Like, why are you saying that? And that's why people are talking about you. <laughs> but there's big emphasis on like, you're transmuting and changing the energies, okay? You transmute the energy. That's why people are talking about you because you come into work or you walk into a room or you go into an area. These could be people that know you, but I'm getting also people who don't know you. You walk into a, a room, the energy shifts, people feel your power, and then people are talking. Like, let's say you walk by a group of people, a group of friends, and you have no idea who they are. You're grocery shopping and they're grocery shopping. You walk by, you continue on your way, and these people are talking about you because it was like, wow, like, people notice you people see you you're standing out like a sore thumb pal too and people can tell that you're different people can tell that you have a big you have this anointing over you and it strikes fear okay there's something about your face your eyes L look at this like intimidation that's what has people talking about <laughs> people are talking about you because you intimidate the fuck out of them with your face your eye you look like you give no fucks you look like you could beat the shit out of somebody or like there's just this big intimidating factor but you also you're like this cuddly little bear like you're just a love a love ball okay and um people are definitely talking about how pure you are how intuitive you are and how private you are okay people are wondering what you're doing people wondering what about your love life especially the people who want to message you especially like your exes and stuff they're talking and asking around like yo you know how to single this big, big emphasis on people want to know can we come back into your life again can 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 we uh is it allowed okay <laughs> please please and thank you i want to um clarify this a little deeper what's this violet flame wow yeah you have transmuted a lot of relationships the lovers in the two of cups and you know this you've helped a lot of people anyone who's been in a really rela a relationship with you romantic platonic it doesn't matter they have seen how you poured into them you like changed their life you were this luck you got them out of abundance you got them out of a, a dark time and um you know people will always be equate that to you we have the empress bro are you serious what's this unconditional love the chariot yeah people are trying to move forward people are trying to move forward people want to uh also people are talking about maybe that you, you know you love to travel but also there's this healing energy you're people are talking about how you're healing and you're moving forward and you're the blueprint for a life to love it's like people are saying that your life is like getting easy now. It's like your your blocks are being moved, your confidence is boosting up, your motivation, your energy, you're speaking your truth. You're just completely changed and that's why people are talking about you right now. What's the sovereignty? What's the sovereignty? Queen of the moon. You're in your king queen energy. Yeah, you have changed. You are no longer allowing sadness to run your life, okay? Maybe you guys were very reactive and emotional. There's this stoic energy that you don't allow people to see you. And if people don't respect you in your power, people try to disrespect you, it's, it's dead, it's done. And you have transformed a lot. But people are talking about how much you have changed and how people loved you before. But now it's like that has quadrupled like a million times more. 
and your abundance is going up in some way. We have eight energy and five energy. You have changed the way you make abundance. You have changed the way you live your life. And you have changed the way that you love yourself. Because a lot of you guys, you didn't love yourself the way that you love yourself now. And you don't take nobody's shit. And that's what has people kind of shooketh, okay? But let's get into your tarot. You are the emperor or the empress. Okay, we have three queens. We have the queen of cups, the queen of wands, and the queen of swords. Okay, you're emotionally intelligent and you're intuitive with the high priestess. You're mysterious. Okay, you keep everything close to your chest, but you're also psychic as fuck, like I said. Then we also have this queen of wands energy. You're a go-getter. You're heading to new ventures that are going to bring you a massive amount of success. You are healing with this star energy. And with the queen of swords and the five of wands... Again, like I said, your clap back, your, the clap back is serious right now. The, or the audacity. You are literally showing people like, nah, you ain't gonna, don't play with me. Don't play with me. Maybe I used to let shit slide before, not anymore. Like, you're calling people out on their shit and, you know, you're cutting people off if they're trying to fight with you, if they're, everything's a fight or everything's a competition. There's big emphasis on people who are in secret competition with you and you cut them off and now they're mad. <laughs> you also have people fighting for your energy and you're literally cold as fuck to them. People are fighting for your energy. People are fighting to be your friend, your lover, trying to fight to be in your life, trying to get your attention. It's like people are talking about how it's a fight to get your attention. You don't... It's like you're not easily impressed. <laughs> Pal 2, you're not easily impressed. You're not really focused on anybody else, okay? You could walk into a room and there's mad heads. You'll scan the room real quick. You'll walk with your head held high and you'll continue to do what you came there to do about your business. You ain't worried about anybody else. You're, you'll, you'll look at people even if they're attractive. It's, again, like this energy, like, okay, that's nice. But what else do you bring to the table? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How is your soul? Okay, like... <laughs> Have you healed? Because there's a big emphasis on your healing and also you're getting your wishes fulfilled. In regards to your healing, in regards to your looks, you're transforming your looks. You're intelligent as fuck too. And the thing is, like, when you clap back, you clap back with not like, your mom, you ain't, you're not that kind of clap back, okay? You're, like, literally destroying people's egos because of the way that you clap back. Because you do it in such a way that it's funny and it's also very intelligent that it goes over people's heads and they have to think about, to 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 what you just said. You're not worried about fighting. You're not worried about, you have no competition your only competition is yourself you are not worried about these people you have decided to just move on you don't care people who don't like me okay that's fine whatever like that's the vibe and people are saying they're like pile two does not care who does not like you and they're not trying to be like they're just trying to be themselves they're just trying to manifest and they don't have the patience for nobody and they're they're, they're talking about like how you're embracing yourself and your stripes, like every bit of you, your quirkiness, your your wittiness, your lovingness, you're no longer pouring your cup into others and you're keeping your moves very silent and then you pop out of nowhere. With this tower energy, you're making changes, like into your, starting new beginnings that have been, you've been patiently waiting and working towards certain things and your success is coming in and it's shocking people but also your psychic gifts are really shocking people okay the way that you're you're balancing your divine feminine and your divine masculine like your your go-getter energy and also your divine practices and your divinity and your energy it's like people can see that you balance practicality and spirituality like a pro and that your spiritual gifts are manifesting your life people are seeing you're an example, pal two. You're an example in regards to um, the spiritual being having a human experience, okay? You're showing people how to live and you're making people change, okay? People used to think you were naive and now you're shocking people because the whole time you saw through everything, you knew what was going on, you were very strategic, you move there's a rhyme and a reason for everything that you do and people thought you was just like la, 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 I'm gonna jump off this cliff like what the fuck bitch <laughs> I know exactly what's at the bottom of that shit you think I'm just out here jumping uh, no <laughs> okay <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny. But your confidence, yeah, people are talking about how the fact that you're confidence, but you have a silent confidence, okay? You're not out here trying to be the loudest in the room. You're watching people, you're very observant, and you're moving accordingly, okay? You're seeing everything and you're acting on it. And you're, you're like, 
very decisive right now. You're moving very fast in regards to the decisions. But yeah, you could be very cutthroat right now. I feel like you're you're big on like cussing. You're not afraid to cuss people out or tell people like it is or give some attitude or pop off right now. I feel like it's not even like you're trying to fight, but you're not scared to fight, okay? If, if you want to start something, they're going to be something, bitch. <laughs> like that is what it is. Like, And uh, people really really slept on this they slept on your kindness they took your kindness for weakness and you know whole time you had a bat behind your back like go ahead keep playing with me <laughs> okay but yeah people are actually seeing how strong you are and how your strength is allowing you to step into a new life where you're going to be so joyful they also see that you're very joyful around certain people and it's like you go from this cold energy to this warm, loving, caring, confident, and funny, compassionate energy, and you keep that part hidden away from some people because you, again, there's this emphasis on not everybody deserves your love and energy, and that's what's shocking people is like, you switch up, you'll be ha ha ha, and then all of a sudden, if someone moves weird, people are talking about how you, f you flip the squ switch real quick, like you could flip in two seconds, like once you catch a whiff of something, or once somebody mistreats you or gives you some kind of weird energy, and you move, you're like, nope uh bye <laughs> you ain't getting the same energy ever again and people are like oh my god jesus christ <laughs> that's where we're gonna call it pile number two i hope you have an amazing day night or whatever and i'll see you on the next one bye what up pile number three it's your girl drea and this is the owl's intuition if you're new here Hit that subscribe and that bell so you can notify when I post some new stuff. And if it resonates, you know, give me a little thumbs up. Let me know how or why in the comments. Pal 2 was interesting. Pal 1 was dope. Like, I swear to God, I don't know what's going on. But I can't wait to see what come, what's going to, what? <laughs> I can't wait to see what's going to come out for you. People definitely get flustered and like fumble their words around you for sure, Pal 3. You're the, the one that gets people nervous. You get people nervous, Pal 3. So, as always, use your discernment. We're going to get your current energy. Keep in mind, thousands of people are watching, so not everything may resonate. So, if it doesn't resonate, you know, don't let it take from you. You can watch another pile, watch another reading. Just do what makes you happy, boo, okay? If you would like to book a reading, my email is in the description box, but I will never message you for a reading, so please beware of scammers. So, thank you for being here. Let's get into it. What is pile number three's current energy, please? <laughs> one y'all have nice ass lashes wow maybe someone just got their lashes done but it's giving like you guys have naturally beautiful luscious lashes for a lot of you guys oh, okay so we have the oracle again some more psychic energy you guys are very connected to the ethers very much connected to energies like you can read energies you can read the room you can walk in and know what's going on wow you guys are tapping into your power your eternal power your inner power okay you're no longer um there's this emphasis on like you guys wasn't like motivated you like just didn't know what you wanted to do or like you know what you wanted to do and had to do but you just didn't have the energy and it's like you are finally releasing that okay a lot of you guys you were going through a lot of energetic upgrades and it was taking a lot out of you just set the intention that your downloads going forward in the future will be easy please god source divine please allow my downloads to be easy and my energetic systems to flow easily as they go through the transitions of my upgrades <laughs> because there's like emphasis on like when you guys go, you you have like this down lull and then all of a sudden you power back up it's like boop, 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 just got recharged you know what i'm saying but um yeah i think that you're um there's emphasis on like you are aging gracefully and you are finally getting into your era where it's like you're calm, you're peaceful, you don't give a damn about anybody else. You know about things too. There's emphasis on you guys know about things you shouldn't know about or you find out about things that people don't want you to know about. You get messages in your dreams <laughs> for a lot of you guys. But yeah, I feel like your confidence is... um is boosting up some of you guys have a beauty mark or like a mole on your face that has some significance i'm not sure about that but you're like you have this big desire to 
not only make something out of yourself, but to help the world and live comfortably. You want to have an abundant life and live a fulfilled life and help people to do the same. And you want to be happy. Emphasis on you just want to be happy. You want to be grounded. You want to be stable. You want to be able to support your loved ones and grow old with someone that you love. And you will do that, okay? Big emphasis on you are closing out a cycle. You are rebirthing yourself, okay? And these have been a long time coming. And because of this cycle that you are closing out and the endings that you are making, you are about to start getting abundance in regards to your motivation, your fulfillment, your grounded energy. You're going to be more calm, more peaceful, and more abundant in regards to money and stability. And your intuition is leveling up and when i say leveling up you're going to be freaking yourself out you're going to be like damn how psychic am i with this oracle energy you're going to be shook you're going to be very confident you're not going to doubt your intuition anymore maybe before you'd be like nah it's all in my head da, 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 da. nope you're going to be like yep that's real i know it mm -hmm. i seen it in a dream okay pisces energy coming through a lot of water signs cancer pisces scorpio that's hilarious Maybe Pisces season was heavily hitting you, and now that we're stepping into Aries season, if you're watching this when I'm dropping this, but this could be relevant whenever, there's just a season change in your life, and it's like the energy is shifting from like kind of more dreamy, lost, like in the clouds, kind of sleepy energy into a I'm motivated, I'm ready to go, let's take action, Mars energy, okay? Yeah, so if that resonates at all, let's get into your reading. All right, pile number... Three, we have Cosmic Ruby, be a peace ambassador, practice cosmic mastery. We also have Yahweh, we have Guidance, Hunter Moon, Abundance. A lot of red and pink energies and orange and yellow and wow. Okay, so people are talking about your beliefs and how they're seeing that your beliefs are the truth. Or also talking about your psychic abilities, okay? Especially if you're a reader. For my readers that come on my videos, they're talking about your psychic abilities and how much you have overcome and how you're making abundance off of it, okay? Some of you guys definitely could be on social media and making money off of this and doing readings and etc. Or you have a spiritual business. There's big emphasis on your spiritual journey, your spiritual awakening. You guys have been on this for a long time, okay? You've had your ego deaths and, you know, your spiritual awakenings and people thought you were crazy and stuff like that, but people are actually starting to see the truth and they're talking about it they're talking about how like they thought you was tapped or you was just you know weird or acting funny but in reality everything that you're doing and been doing is starting to make sense your creative ventures are about to pop off some of you guys are making money in regards to social media and that's changing your life you're more confident you're putting yourself out there there's big, big emphasis on your creative ventures, okay? But also the fact that you have so much peace after a very hard time. You had to fight for your life. You went through, okay, um, some of y'all, is I'm, it's on that level, but like some of you guys, it's not, it's, it's not that deep. Like, it's not that deep, but it's like you were going through a hard time and you had a lot of endings, okay? With all these skulls over here, like you're just, you're walking out of a lot of endings and a lot of trauma and a lot of things that you, you know... <sighs> It's giving heavy, 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 heavy energy. And you're coming out as this beautiful ruby. Okay, you went through a lot of pressure. And I do feel like you are very connected. People are also talking about how animals and babies and, like, people react to you. You get a lot of stares. You get a lot of attention. Um, people look up to you. People love your energy. Especially, again, there's this social media aspect. People thought that you wasn't going to make it. Let's say you, you made a YouTube, right? And people thought you wasn't going to make it. Or you made a TikTok or something like that. Whatever. Your social media is starting to pop off. And you get a lot of attention. And a lot of people actually genuinely support you. It's giving, like, hometown friends or people that you knew your whole life are very surprised and talking about it. Because they actually believe in it now. But it takes that... Like, the thing about that is it always... Uh, that's delayed because they they know the old you and they can't accept the new you okay you have gone through a lot of rebirths you're a phoenix baby and you have like you know transformed a lot and for some reason people are finally starting to um accept this new you and this new abundant luxurious beautiful very intelligent very clever energy people really didn't think you were as smart as you are People doubted your abilities, doubted your wisdom, doubted the guidance. Okay, a lot of you guys, you gave so much much advice and nobody took your advice. And you know what's crazy is you took your own advice. And people are seeing that and now they're starting to take your advice. And they're like, oh my god, yeah. Pal 3 told me to do this a long time ago. 
and I just started doing it and it's actually working like <laughs> you should have ended it three 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 but you know whatever that's not my problem but yeah um people are talking about how you're like you're transforming okay you're coming out of your winter you're coming out of your winter and really stepping into this new creative phase of confidence and just accepting and embracing yourself okay people are talking about your style you could be dressing more formal there's emphasis on that but you still have your your you know maybe your tees and hoodies and stuff but there's emphasis on like you guys are dressing more formal or you're there's this like I don't know this aesthetic change more classy or more spiritual maybe you're wearing different things that are showing your your beliefs you know and people are talking about that as well anything else I want to clarify this abundance a little deeper what's this abundance yeah you have changed you're no longer stressed about abundance you know everything is going to work out you know that everything is going to work out and people are watching you. You could be making abundance online with the page of swords. Okay. People thought you wasn't going to be able to do that, you know, but you are, and you're no longer constricted or like, I feel like your funds are no longer constricted. Your, your funds are moving forward. What's this cosmic Ruby energy a little deeper King of cups. People see how much of a dying piece you are. <laughs> people are falling for you. People have, Okay, you have a specific person, but multiple people for some of you, but I feel like a specific person who is finally realizing that you are their peace, is finally realizing that you are their serenity, you are the one who can help them to change their life. You've always been that person, and you are the one that they want, and they realize that they were really immature and toxic, and they want a victory with you. They want a future with you, and... They don't want to juggle anymore, you know, but they're constricted and, and kind of like they're talking about how they're like stuck because they feel like, you know, you may not accept them. OK, there's this mysterious aspect that, you know, they feel if they speak their truth, you know, and tell you that they actually like them, it will like release their burdens. But also there is a possibility of rejection. And that's why. Well, wow, that's specific as fuck. What's this guidance? Yeah. The thing is, is like you had plans for your future and you are making it happen, okay? And people really doubted your intuition and doubted your intelligence. They really didn't think that you were going to make it. You were very patient and it took a lot of time, okay? And you never gave up on yourself. You trusted your intuition. You went the route that was not really taken. There's a big emphasis on like you. You may have left, left the 3D in a, in a like a drastic way. Like did something like out of pocket and people like, they fucked up their whole life. <laughs> that is the worst. And then all of a sudden now they're like wow i understand why they did that or good for them like making abundance after that change that they made <laughs> all right let's get into your tarot okay pile number three we have the nine of pentacles the ten of wands in the reverse we have the moon the four of cups in the reverse we have the knight of swords with the page of wands and then we have the nine of swords in the reverse the fool and the fates which is the wheel of fortune <laughs> People are starting to see there is a method to your madness. Again, similar to another pile, we have um, this kind of chessboard energy. Okay, Like, you're strategic as hell. You are very strategic. You are going over people's heads. Like, look at it. She's stepping on this person's head. You were going... What you were doing was going over people's heads. You were way ahead of your time. And that's what people are starting to realize. And that's why people are talking about you right now. They're like, wow, this person is really, really ahead of the game. Like, I thought that they was doing stupid shit. <laughs> Whole time, they was really strategic as fuck. Okay? You created your own luck. And that's what people are talking about. Or they're just saying that you're lucky right now. It's like... You're no longer stressed, and when you are stressed, it's like when bad things happen, you don't stress. You don't hold on to the burdens of stress because you know that everything's going to work out, and everything always does, and you flourish. And there's big emphasis on, again, this classy energy. Um, people are talking about your music taste, or maybe you've made music, maybe you're singing more, maybe you're talking more, maybe you're just jamming out. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, okay? Um... Someone may have written a song about you that's random as hell um, and people are talking about it. Maybe they're starting to tell people like, oh yeah, Pal 3 is my muse, which I'm not surprised that you're a muse for people because there's this big emphasis on like you have muse energy, like the way that you move is like, oh my God, I don't know. Okay, you're very magical and mystical. All right, let's be real. <clears throat> 
can be you're unexplainable you're a paradox and people don't understand you and that's what people are talking about because they love you but also they're confused by you they they know about you but also they have no idea how much they don't know about you because you're very mysterious okay you faced a lot of demons and people are talking about that as well you have released a lot of things i heard addictions so maybe you don't drink anymore you don't smoke anymore you have new practices or beliefs or habits okay there's big emphasis on your prioritizing your health um, you're also okay with being single or being by yourself. Maybe you used to, like, you know, focus on, um, spending a lot of time with other people, going to parties and stuff like that. You're very secluded and you're okay with that and it's not a heavy burden. You have let go of a lot of burdens. You used to be very stressed out. With the Nine of Swords in the reverse and the Ten of Wands in the reverse, people are talking about how you're no longer stressed out, okay? Maybe you had anxiety, like super anx anxious energy. You were always stressed, worried about what everyone was thinking and saying about you and stuff, and now you really don't care. And um, you're like, it's none of my business, you know what I'm saying? And you have hope for life again. Okay, a lot of you guys, you was in the mud, in the muck, and you have pulled yourself out, okay? You have pulled yourself out, you're grounding yourself, and you're actually there's emphasis on like you're making money from multiple things because with this nine of pentacles energy it's giving entrepreneur but we also have like a lot of arms she has four arms <laughs> so it's like you could have four sources of income coming in or more you know what i'm saying but there's like this emphasis on like you're independent so you're no longer burdened you're building your independence up if you are not already independent you're heading towards success and heading towards a lot of joy and happiness into your life you're making drastic changes and you're again this cutthroat energy as well with this knight of swords and this page of wands it's like you're just like I'm doing my own thing and you're telling people like it is. You're telling people stuff, but you're not telling people everything. It's like, how can you say so much and so little at the same time? Like, people are like, yo, I feel like I know pile three and I feel like they know me, but also I know that I know nothing about them. Like, it's like people like pour their hearts out to you, tell you everything, and they're an open book to you. And all of a sudden it's like you don't talk or they have no idea what the hell's going on with you like you don't say anything to them you're so mysterious they're like i've been friends with pile three for 10 years and i don't know anything i just found out that they have a brother like what what do you mean you know it's that kind of energy but anything else yeah there's big emphasis on maybe you were having trouble sleeping maybe you were very anxious maybe your mental wealth uh, mental wealth okay your mental health has um very much transformed and is on the up and up but also it's like you have dropped a lot of responsibilities and you're prioritizing your responsibilities your abundance and you're building yourself up from scratch it's giving self-made people are talking about your shoe game too and your style you look good in bright colors as well yeah and you freed yourself People are talking about how you freed yourself from something and because you did this, it's really transforming your life and you're stepping into a new beginning. People also talk about how you're this childlike energy and also the fact that you look like you haven't aged a bit. You're actually looking better. You're aging with fine wine and that's what people are talking about. They're talking about your hot topic because you're aging like fine wine literally like people like every time i see them they become more handsome more beautiful and they still look the same age like i don't understand it's been 10 years <laughs> all right pile number three that's where we're gonna call it i love you guys i hope you have an amazing day night or whatever and i'll see you on the next one bye what's going on pound number four last but never least of course it's your girl drea and this is the owl's intuition if you are new here hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified when i post some new stuff and if it resonates give me a little thumbs up baby let me know how or why in the comments okay your comments do be commenting no i'm just kidding all right Keep in mind, thousands of people are watching, so not every message may be for you. And don't let these messages take from you. If it doesn't resonate, you know, we're going to get your current energy to see if this is even your pile. Then you can watch another pile, watch another reading, just do what makes you happy, boo, okay? Watch another reading. I don't care, you know? If it, Don't let this reading take from you, okay? Take everything with a grain of salt. So... We are going to get your current energy, like I said, but if you would like to book a reading, my email is in the description box. I will never message you for a reading, so please beware of scammers. What is pile number four's current energy? I just heard healing energy. That song by Chris Brown. Oh, interesting. 
Okay, we have B. Queen B vibes. Very inter interesting. You're stepping into your um, Queen B. Okay, Beyonce. 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 <laughs> I heard croissant. <laughs> if you know, you know. <clears throat> we have love spell. B. Growth and bonfire. Yeah, you are literally about to celebrate life. You are... Bur like there's this passionate energy that's like burning inside of you but also it's burning in uh, everyone else people feel like you put a love spell on them because they can't explain why they love you so much and this is not just in a romantic sense this is in a sense in regards to people find it hard to dislike you people love you and don't know why people are triggered by you and still love you <laughs> okay and um, I do feel like you guys are letting go of drinking or some type of habit, okay? You may be drinking more water or drinking more tea instead of coffee. There's something about your drinks. I don't know why that's coming through. You're changing or maybe you need to drink your water. That could also be another thing. But I think you guys are expanding your palate, okay? You may be wanting or craving new foods. It's giving like you guys were like eating the same thing for breakfast or dinner every single day and you're like, I want newness or you want to like go to try a new re restaurant or something. There's big emphasis on you just want new. You want change. And that's what's happening is you are... We have one, two, three. What? And we have seven energy too. Three energy Big emphasis on you're stepping into a lucky time. Everything that you have put into yourself, put into your projects, put into your relationships is coming back to you tenfold. You're growing, okay? All your manifestations are going to be at the at your fingertips. Like literally, your fingertips are like these plants and stuff. Like you are the magician, you are the high priest, high priestess, and you are somebody who can transmute energies very quickly. You can make something out of nothing. And I do feel like your life is going to get really, really sweet. And again, this Queen Bee energy, you are going to be so in flow and in harmony harmony with the universe. Miracles are going to be flowing into your life. It's giving things were stagnant you were working really hard and now it's like you take one step and you get catapulted like it's like you're not gonna have to work as hard as you were and you even if you continue to work at the pace that you have been working on and working hard still your your results are multiplying like times a thousand so i don't know what you've been working on what you've been doing whether it's you've been working on yourself working on your project working on your businesses working on self-growth self-love it doesn't matter what it is working on building and connecting relation in regards to your relationships it's going to exponentially uplift like it's it's just going to be like a, a rocket your life is about to okay and you don't know how sweet this is going to get for you and this is going to feed your soul. This is going to open up your heart. Like, yes, you're getting a lot of return in the physical, in the 3D. Things are growing, but this is something that's going to actually, like, really feel good to your heart, to your soul. Open up your heart and make you feel fulfilled. So if that resonates at all, let's get into your reading. All right, pile number four. We have, have the rose gold cosmic pool. Some of y'all came from another pile. What up? <laughs> bathe in cosmic love we have soak up wisdom we have magic alignment and then hot moon extremes <laughs> whoa <laughs> i'm gonna clarify these but let's talk about the general <laughs> you are definitely intuitive you are loving you are courageous you are stealthy in your moves okay you are playful you are loyal you are cuddly but also you are not to be played with and you are very much unique and you have this energy of wisdom to you where people don't understand how it is that you know what you know but they know that what you say is true they know that you're very honest and people are talking about it they're saying like Pal 4 is very wise. Pal 4 has been through a lot and their wisdom shows, you know, and they're still pure at heart. They're still loving and they still show love and compassion to those who have hurt them. Okay, there's emphasis again on this energy of you burning bridges with people who, you know, were toxic and people talking about you, trying to throw you under the bus, trying to make them look like they weren't the villain. And you were silent. You didn't say shit about them. You let them do what they needed to do. You let them talk their shit or whatever. And you just kept them pushing. And that had people shocked, okay? 
Um, people are talking about how you're aligned. You're very aligned energetically, and that's reflecting into your life. Like, people feel like you're responsible. People feel like you're getting shit done. People feel like you're... You're moving. You're moving forward and you're getting shit done. It's like with your life, it's like you your ups and downs are very extreme and people are talking about it. They're like, oh, yeah, all of a sudden you see like you don't see pile four for a little bit. And all of a sudden, bam, they're just in your face, like coming out of nowhere. You just start shining and, and everything. I feel like with you, Paul Four, is like your changes come all at one time. Like everything hits the fan all at once, whether it's bad or good or in between. It doesn't matter. It's like, bam, tower moment, bam blessings all at once like it's just drastic changes and people are starting to notice that <laughs> okay we also have um seven energy again so people feel like your life is like magic okay even though you go through some extreme things you always make it out or you always figure it out or you always solve it okay it's like magic magic is you have magic in the palm of your hands people also feel like when they're around you you feel magical and they start to see more magic okay people start to believe in the esoteric people start to believe in love again this emphasis on like you're this owl and people want to listen to you talk and people are talking about that people are talking about how people People like to listen to you people like to talk to you maybe you have a podcast or somewhere where you talk or you like you know you do what you do okay whatever this is and you shine and you put your wisdom out there okay you teach people I don't know what this is but you're an inspiration for others and people are talking about that you are magical you are aligned you are pure and <laughs> you're hot <laughs> we have hot moon in extremes you're hot people talk about how you have pretty privilege people think that people believe in what you say because of your looks people think that you maybe even use magic for your looks or something like that i don't know what this is but they think your looks are magical they think your looks get you good luck they think you're just lucky people treat you they put you on a pedestal and people see this and people are talking about it. Like, yeah, Pal 4 gets away, could get away with murder. Pal 4 gets away with mad shit. Like, Pal 4 can do whatever they want all the time and nobody says shit. <laughs> and um, they think it's because you're hot. They think it's because you're attractive. You got people sweating. People are literally talking about how much they would love to make love to you. They feel like it would be magical and they feel like you would steal their soul and they feel like... <laughs> they would fall in love with you they they feel like if you hit it and quit it they would be heartbroken devastated <laughs> they would they're like um i want to marry pile number four like they pe people are like saying like that you are hubby wifey material your goals i heard body goals okay hair goals skin care goals um intelligent goals like you're very sexy okay you're also funny <clears throat> and you're confident courageous charismatic you're charming and you know you could talk the pants off of somebody okay people get very aroused when just talking to you you may have a very sexy voice and people are talking about that like people are like yeah there's a big emphasis on like you're turning people on right now about four like you got people hot and bothered like people are really talking about how it the, and i feel like this hasn't always been so i feel like you just continuously get hotter and hotter and now people are saying this and people are like damn yo i need some water let's get a glass of water over here i didn't even notice that the sweat and condensation baby damn people are thirsty for you <laughs> all right let's get into your tear oh no actually let me clarify that one <laughs> what's this extremes tell me more three of cups in the reverse and the lovers in the reverse queen of swords in the reverse oh my god you cut people off and they can't walk away eight of cups in the reverse people lovers friends that you cut off they are one attracted to you two they thought it was extreme and they feel an extreme need to come back into your life because they feel like to have you in their life you brought this magic you brought this love you un made them feel understood you made them feel seen and they don't have a connection with anybody the way that they had a connection with you you really did cater to everyone who was in your life including the people that you cut off a lot of people from your past maybe even fam and stuff they just feel <sighs> This extreme sadness, too. You know what I'm saying? What's this magic? Yeah, some people feel like you're using magic to get out of a bun um, out of lack. Out of a lack mentality. Out of a lack. You're getting money because of magic. 
<laughs> for some of you. And what's this cosmic pool? Seven of swords. A lot of people used to think that, you know, you were lying. A lot of people didn't believe. A lot of people were stressed. A lot of people were trying to fight your beliefs. And um, now people are actually soaking it up and, and taking in that wisdom and actually applying that wisdom and seeing that it was fact. But also emphasis on people are talking ish behind your back or trying to spread rumors because of judgments. They're judging you because you have all this let like people supporting you they're either saying it's because of magic or they're saying it's because you're hot <laughs> jesus all right let's get into your tarot all right pile number four so we have the ace of swords the king of coins the five of wands the king of cups then we have the queen i mean uh the four of coins the queen of swords and then on the bottom we have the chariot the nine of coins the eight of cups and the moon in the reverse <sighs> your truth is being revealed the truth of your power, the truth of your persuasion, the truth that you knew what you was doing the whole time. Again, this emphasis on people slept on you. People didn't think you were going to make it out. People thought you were always going to be stuck, stagnant. I heard ain't shit. People really doubted you, pal four. And you're moving forward. People are talking about how you're becoming successful. You're building a name for yourself. You're building up abundance. But there's big emphasis on people are talking about how you have people who... <laughs> love you and want you fighting over you okay uh people are talking about how you know you're very intelligent when it comes to money management or you have a business you could be an entrepreneur and people are talking about that people are seeing how you have transformed your life and how you see clearly you always saw clearly but people did not think that you saw clearly okay people are definitely you walked away from some snakes okay in a very classy and stoic way unaffected unfazed and these people are seeing the truth and they see that they still want you and people are talking about how they they're holding on to your energy they still kind of want to come towards you and speak their truth to you and let you know or even like congratulate you or something like that give you your flowers give you your credit to like try and get access to you people are testing the waters people are talking about testing the waters to see if they can still be in your life or if you have fully cut them off or if you'll be combative or will you still be loving and caring okay there's this emphasis on like you're blossoming you're blooming you're very unique you stand out you're stepping into a period of abundance you have walked away from clowns and people who don't mess with you or people who were throwing shade people who were in competition you're focusing on building yourself up and healing your emotions a lot of you guys have become more in emotionally intelligent less reactive people are talking about how you're really unfazed like there could be a lot of chaos going on around you and everyone's freaking out and shit and you're very calm cool and collected you can handle high pressure situations and people are talking about how, about how you're an asset you are an asset pal for to people's lives because you're honest you're blunt you're truthful <clears throat> you're intelligent you're abundant, you look good, you're the whole package, and that's what people are talking about. People are talking about this because, again, I heard late bloomer in my head. There's emphasis on people did not see this coming, and then all of a sudden, one day, you just woke up and was like, handsome Squidward. <laughs> I don't know why handsome Squidward came out, but it was just like, you looked in the mirror and you was just like, damn, I'm that bitch. And it started to reflect into your, your 3D and now people are seeing it. You saw it first. You knew it. And then all of a sudden now people are actually starting to recognize it and see like, oh, this person's abundant. This person's loyal. This person got that. This person's successful. This person's heading towards the bag. Emphasis on some of you guys have a really nice car and people are talking about it, okay? Or they know that you're going to have a nice car. There's something about that. I don't know. Maybe the way you drive too. Maybe people are seeing you out and about driving in your car and they want to like talk to you or text you but they're scared because either they think you're going to cuss them out or they think that you're just not going to respond. They're scared of rejection. People are really holding on to you. And there's also this emphasis on like people who are in your life scared that if they say something or do something wrong that you'll cut them off just the way that you cut off all the other people who did some shiesty shit. But it's kind of interesting. Like why, why are you scared that you're going to get cut off? What are you doing? What are you doing that's really, you know what I'm saying? Are you doing shit behind the scenes? That's the real question. <laughs> 
But yeah, people are talking about how they're scared that you might walk away from them because you're going to see the truth of them. There's something about maybe someone's mask has been com coming off or maybe you're you're saying things to people and you're speaking on like how maybe they're like argumentative or maybe how they're moving and you're commenting on it. And I do I feel like this is like <laughs> people are like this person's itching to cut me off. <laughs> I need to change my ways. Like, people are talking about how also you make people change their ways. Like, people let go of their past selves with you. You make people transform because you speak your truth to them and you're an inspiration. Again, there's a big emphasis on you. Pelfor are an inspiration and you are transforming your life. You're stepping towards abundance. You're stepping towards success. You have already hit many milestones of success and you're going to continue to do so. I also feel like you're unfazed by love right now or you are in a happy relationship and you still have people fighting for your energy behind the scenes. It's like you're not worried about that because you have your own relationship or you're good with being single and people are still like going off, going crazy for you in the background. Like you fighting with other people is not going to change the fact that Pal 4 is focused on themselves or has a relationship already. They're not going to leave their person or they're not going to do anything that will be an act of dishonor towards themselves okay they're really focused on self-love and self-care <laughs> anything else yeah you guys really are the whole package pal for and people are saying that they're like yo they look good they smell good they're intelligent they're loyal they're abundant they got their shit together they're emotionally mature they know how to handle situations they don't freak out they ain't worried about other people that are like in competition. They're not worried about the haters. They're heading towards success and they're honest as fuck, bro. People believe what you say now. People didn't believe what you said. People didn't think you was going to stand on business and you continue to prove people wrong. And people are saying that. They're like, yeah, Pal 4 proved me wrong. I don't know. I thought that they was going to fail, but they, they kept going strong and they built something up. You're building a foundation and that's going to really bring you success and people know it. All right, pal number four, I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever, and I, I will see you on the next one. Bye.